Hello, my name is Philip and I'll be giving a brief update on non-GNU Alpa. Before we begin, let's first make sure everyone's on the same page. What is non-GNU Alpa? Put simply, non-GNU Alpa is a new Emacs Lisp package archive similar to its sister archive, GNU Alpa. The main difference is that GNU Alpa regards each package in the archive to be part of Emacs itself. This means each significant contributor has to have signed their copyright to the Free Software Foundation. Non-GNU Alpa is made for packages that cannot ensure this condition. The immediate consequence of all of this is that more packages can be installed out of the box. All you need to install, for example, Megit, Evil Mode, Slime, is a simple MX package install. The more subtle consequence is that Elpa distributes stable packages by default. This differs from, for example, the community maintains package archive Melpa, where each change in the respective package repository triggers a new package to be rebuilt. Of course, stable here has to be taken with a grain of salt because on the one hand, a package maintainer can be very careful to avoid buggy codes and their default branch. And on the other hand, a package maintainer can be too eager to tag a new release without properly checking that the code works as intended. My personal hope is that with more people using non-GNU Alpa, the incentive will increase for package development to shift away from the currently predominant rolling release model, improving the overall stability of Emacs configurations. Another side effect of the initiative is a chance to clean up the Emacs package space. Over the last few years, a lot of packages have been abandoned, have been broken, duplicated, or even in some cases replaced by functionality in Emacs itself. When reviewing packages for non gnu Alpha, the opportunity to avoid these problems will hopefully also improve the general quality of Emacs packages. So, what is this update about? I'm taking Richard Stallman's announcement at EmacsCon 2020 as my reference point. There, the idea, the history and the motivation was explained, and the call for contributions was made. I won't be going into these aspects again this year. As this implies, there was nothing concrete at that point. The first practical steps towards non gnu Alpha were taken up by Stefan Monier. This included updating GNU Alpha's build system to support the requirements of non-GNU Alpha as well. And so eventually, the idea became a Git repository, non-GNU Git on Savannah, then a website, alpa.nongnu.org, and then around late December of last year, non-GNU Alpha was also added to the package archives list. Sadly, progress stalled from this point on with a new archive consisting of only five or six packages. It took until August for more packages to be added, some by their respective authors, such as Megit and Projectile, but most by contributors such as myself. As of recording, the archive has around 70 packages, with more pending to be added soon. These include popular applications such as the previously mentioned Megit, Slime or WGREP, Major modes like PHP mode, Rust mode, Go mode, Closure mode, Lua mode, Markdown mode, you get my point, and a number of visual themes, among other things. If you are interested in using non GNU Helper, but are still bound to an older version of Emacs, all you have to do is to add the snippet from the non GNU Helper homepage updating the package archives variable. For Emacs 28 and newer, one might have to watch out that you're not setting package archives directly and if you are doing so, to update the value. Emacs 28 only updates the default value and will not manipulate the user's configuration. Finally, a short note for package developers. Most packages up until now haven't been added by their maintainers. For the most part, I have been collecting and reviewing the packages which have been added, which takes time and is one of the main reasons why we, why we are still at only 70 packages. This is of course not a permanent solution. The intention here is to bootstrap, so to say, the interest in non gnu Alpha by making it more interesting to use and thus more interesting to contribute to. If you are interested in adding a package that already exists or a new package to non gnu Alpha, 
All you need to do is send an email to the Emacs development mailing list, emacs devil at canoe.org. This is an open mailing list and requires no special registration. Your message should mention non GNU Alpa in the subject and contain a link to a public Git repository in the body. Ideally, a brief explanation on what your package does would be much appreciated. The proposal will be reviewed by the readers of the mailing list and after a bit of back and forth on possible issues and improvements, the package will hopefully be added to non GNU Alpa itself. The simplest mistake a lot of packages make is to either not have or maintain a version attribute in the package header. This is done despite actually being necessary for a well-formed Emacs package, according to the ELIST manual. Elper relies on this tag to detect new package versions that will be built and distributed. If the version isn't updated, no new package will be released, and any changes won't be made public. So. That's that on non-GNU Elper. To summarize, non-GNU Elper is a new package archive for Emacs without a need for copyright assignments. It works, it exists, and it's been used already. I'm looking forward to more packages being added to the archive and improving the overall experience of Emacs out of the box. Thank you for your interest and goodbye.